this is part two. Part one was starting at October 3rd when I said, maybe that vision, maybe the cockroaches were trying to tell you something. Maybe my path isn't to goic. Uh, and then went back and listened to the long uh, vision from her belief system that I'm supposed to apply to my life as if just full on fact, uh, without the understanding of what is religious there, what's truth, what's offered, what's absolutely not offered, and uh, that there's actually nothing offered there. Nothing that would actually help a disabled person, right? Her her entire belief system is just, I shouldn't be disabled. But the physical body doesn't matter. Only the other, I don't understand. It. Anyway, here it is uh, from this to the end of our relationship. So after letting it decant, right, I sent her October 6th, three days after our last exchange, where I asked if she knew anyone in Vancouver with a house, because she's asked if I needed anything. Uh, if not, then nothing else will help. Re-listening to this, I think the message was meant for you, not me. And the cockroach comes in twice to tell you that. I am climbing a mountain and my child is in tow. I am getting to the top and any equipment will be used on my child first. You see ego no matter what is said. Your ego, not mine. You see the mountain and the unequipped climber, but think it is ego to try to climb a mountain that must be climbed. Sure death for all I love if I do not make the climb. Making the climb without gear is the only choice. I am gathering gear in whatever way I can, and most of it has, has and will come from strangers. No matter how many visions the creator send you to tell you to let your ego go and see your little sister for who she is and not a lesser version of you two years behind just catching up. You have your world, I have mine. Wish you a beautiful journey. I will continue to enjoy mine. I have heard you. My wisdom and advice land flat with you. I will continue to focus my resources where they are seen and appreciated. I wish the same for you. <laughs> lies, lies, lies. Uh, correct. The wisdom and advice fall flat. I appreciate the vision you shared. It offered a lot. I was trying to offer back that maybe that ego bit was for you. Why would I need your wisdom, yet you don't need mine? That is the part I mean about treating me like I'm two and a half years behind on your journey instead of 44 years at a expert on my own. And she knows she thinks I'm, I'm like decades behind her on hers, not two and a half years behind because I haven't kept up. Right. I'm not two. I'm like 40 years behind because I'm on my own journey. I trust grounded warmth. I have discernment, she says. That is an old story you keep telling yourself. That I'm, that, I'm sure. Uh, if you think I am doing any of this from ego, your discernment is not great. It sounds egoic, but it's not. And then I sent up the message that I had sent to uh, my friend Jack's friends, because it explains me really well. I sent this to my mom. I sent it to my sister. And uh, well, they weren't a fan. Um, if you feel called, here is a video I did for someone else that actually explains me pretty good. I trust if you jump forward to any part of it, you will hear the right part. I never mentioned doing anything from your ego. The entire thing, right, was Luciferic, let go of the ego. Yes, you did when you, the roach showed up that going up the mountain is egoic. I think it's a powerful message. Just your interpretation is meant for you and not me. I know you think everything is meant for me and for everyone else in your world. I would review the context. You Are, are you able to care for your daughter right now? I am spending all of my effort getting us a family to support us. Okay, let me know if I can be helpful <laughs> or the exact F and opposite and be the most ha ha harmful I could possibly be. Let me know if I could be the most harmful. <sighs> I want to be clear that I care deeply and love both of you. What does support look like for you? Can I take Aurora for a few weeks? Um, and so then I offer three things that would actually help. Find a way to have one-on-one -on -one video chats with her on topics that are important to her, right? Not Luciferic hierarchies, clearly. Uh, also, if you would could learn the difference between an acute crisis and a chronic crisis one, taking my child during the school year is not helpful. 
we are not in an acute crisis. This is a chronic illness caused by the depot and radiation by your own admission. But then what? What is it you think I should do? Create a time machine? Uh, and then also not threaten divorce constantly while pretending family is all about loving and knowing people for who they are, which is it? I get to react as I do and be family or threaten with continue on our own journey when I act in a way you don't like and ex or expect, which will be basically every time since you don't know me at all. Uh, we have always and will always be on our own journey. That is what life is about. It's like, no, come on. That is that is not what that sentence is about. Wish you a beautiful journey. I will continue to enjoy mine is like her passive aggressive <laughs> fainting on the couch. Like, stop threatening divorce constantly. I don't. I mean it when I do it later. You don't seem to see that your entire family is reaching out to you and you are pushing everyone away for some imaginary non-existent family that does not exist. Except it absolutely, like I've seen it along the way, right? I haven't been sitting alone in my room with nobody inter- like no, it, I created solution raising and we weave and peer coaching and met amazing people who have like, <laughs> oh, and your daughter doesn't need someone to video chat with her. She needs someone to invest in her and care for her and teach her how to do things that give her life skills. She needs someone to wrap their arms around her all day, every day, and say that she is loved and she is important and valued. Oh, me's going to explain. <laughs> Aurora knows she is loved exactly as she is and is very important and valued. And she also knows her mother has a chronic illness and that she pays the highest price for that, especially since my family can't seem to hear that or understand it. And so they can't offer any help that will help. So I have to create an entire family. That is what I was supposed to do. Um, if I had known you all were who you were, I would have done it long ago. So my plan, right, well, as I'm communicating with my family, I'm creating a parallel family, an in-person, living together, looking after our shared needs family, not replacing my biological one. However, my biological one's response to me needing help was an egoic disaster, was how dare I need help and I shouldn't be disabled. That was their collective decision. <laughs> Jubilee should just not be disabled <laughs> because they hadn't stepped up to meet the gap in in my child's care that is clearly there so their decision is that it just shouldn't be there this gap that they were ignoring i asked for a one-on-one -on -one video chat which would be actual connection and helpful she doesn't need that you don't think i need i know my child you don't think i know what she needs of course not because i'm disabled and two and a half years younger i need my older sister who doesn't know me or my child to narcissistically come in and try and destroy everything this is the or showing this because this is to me very obvious that this woman is not well. Well, they're saying I'm not right. Am I going to scream? Am I going to? Yeah. Uh, if you think my tone is the problem, you're not going to like this channel, right? If you think having a feeling is violence, you're not going to like this channel. Um, however, if you see what my sister's doing is the violence, we're going to get along just fine. Sorry, that ending sounded like that means you guys are bad or something. And no, this is exactly as it was meant to be. I'm meant to create a family that is not the one that I came from. You all can't see me. I love you, but you can't see me. And you don't seem to want to see my kid either. Like, who she is and get to know her for her. Um, the video chat with her would have been amazing for you. Sorry, you don't want to do that. Uh, Jubilee, right. I don't, you all can't right. help in the way I need, in the way Aurora needs. That's exactly. I did pause. I, did, I didn't pause to read the other part. Okay. Jubilee, I don't know what else to say, except you're coming off as a complete narcissist. Coming off isn't the same as being one, though, is it? Uh, you have no interest in getting to know or understand anyone in your family. I've spent so much energy understanding and getting to know you all. And it was for clearly for F all. I was like, right now, that can't be my focus. I need my focus to be on this, right? And you all were like, no, this right now. Absolutely not. 
uh, trying to help, and all you're doing is pushing us away for some imaginary non-existent family that you're never going to find online, says my narcissistic sister, who doesn't listen to a word I say ever, hasn't heard all of the amazing people, all of the amazing things that have happened, all of the signs and symbols, not the weird, it was the year I almost graduated. What? Okay. And then after this one, which is only 14 seconds, this is beyond confusing. Narcissists are always so confused. So confused. What does help understanding actually look like to you? For you to listen for five seconds. I'm disabled. Chronically. Not acute. N not. Someone handing you a house. And I didn't say handy, right? I said, do you know anyone who has, who, right? A house could be used for a year. You choose to make your meaning. That's charity. That's that's me using someone as opposed to beneficial for everyone, humanity especially. The issue right now, so I will be getting help elsewhere. That is what is happening. I don't, you guys are going to need in the way Aurora needs. That's exactly the issue right now. So I will be getting help elsewhere. That is what is happening. I don't, you guys are going to need to process that. And not with me, because I got other things to do with my energy, like create my kid a family. I'm trying to explain this is not a slight. You all are not capable of the help I need. If you were, it would have happened long before now. Now is not the time. Now is the time for you all to process whatever you need to process. Mainly that you all haven't been there for her or me for a decade. The question is, are you capable are, are you capable of caring for your child? Yep. Uh, put her first. I'm the one who puts her first. None of you put her in any kind of priority. That's what this all became clear. What I'm processing is I'm really concerned that you are not in a good place and that your daughter is not getting the love and support that she needs right now. But can't have one-on-one video chats, right? That is the narcissistic injury that set this whole emotion. I'm concerned for your mental health. And I'm wondering if you've had your tumors checked lately. So that's what I'm processing. My child is good. She has loving other adults that aren't me, aren't her chronically ill parent, who actually do care that she makes it to activities and pick her up. So she has theater that she's interested in. And her weak. And other things, right, where I explain my kid is in school, is looked after, and, and I'm in crisis, right? And grandparents on video chat. Why is it wrong for you to video chat with your niece? And why haven't you? I think that maybe is what you should process. I did that wrong. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I don't know if you can read it then at that point. All right. Process. I'm happy to video chat with her. My priority is what she needs and she doesn't need more computer time. If that's all that's available and you refuse yet again for her to visit me in person, that will be all that is available. If you get to know her and she wants to, she can come visit you in the summer after her last performance of the school year. When and how can I chat with her? Going to have to figure it out with dad. Kids messenger is how I do it with her. I have to figure it out with dad or you will. Uh, would you consider getting a brain scan? I hear everything you are saying. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not even a little bit. Our family is not able to support you. Correct. You believe you have the solution to all of humanity's problems for a decade that none of you have listened to, right? And now, now, now you really want to, now you want me to prove it to you. Absolutely not. That's not how this works. And that you deeply want to connect with people who understand you. Yep, like all of humanity, I want to be understood and connect with individuals. <laughs> so silly of me. Uh, you figure it out with dad. I get my brain scanned regularly. Do you? So I'm trying to understand. You don't have the spoons to coordinate a call with your own daughter. No, I don't have the mental capacity to do anything that isn't in flow. Connecting technology is not in flow. So no, I can't do it. But if you can, if she can, if he could, then why not? Why not the six years that you've had that access to, right? And you have it. You're the one who needs to process that. Uh, 
you believe our senior father should take that this responsibility if it needs to get done and I can't do it, you because you are too disabled to care for a simple gesture of care for your own daughter. That's your interpretation, right? You also believe your own family that knows you. Absolutely, they don't know me. Not even a little bit. They haven't heard me or listened to me in 40 years. How could you know me? To some degree, not even to some degree, not even a tiny bit do you all know me and loves you. Uh, how could you know me if you don't love me? You guys need me to be somebody I'm not. That's not love. Is unfit to care for you. Correct. You guys are absolutely unfit to care for me, clearly, and your daughter. Clearly, or you would have, right? But you are soliciting complete strangers to take you and your daughter in. Nope, that was your weird interpretation. Strangers, Jubilee, your daughter is 10. You must take down that video from YouTube immediately or I will be getting involved in a deeper level. You must understand that your behavior has consequences. You haven't filed your taxes in years, have you? You can go to jail. This is serious, Jubilee. And as my my sister got everyone all riled up that my kid isn't in school and I'm somehow some mastermind for not filing my taxes. The government has yet to ask me to file my taxes, which is the first step, right? And I'm not refusing. I just can't. Those are very different things that you don't seem to understand at all. My kid is in school, as I was very clear, can't come stay with you during the school year. You needed there to be a crisis where you could try to micromanage my video where I'm asking for help. In my YouTube living room, that is what they all got offended for. Me asking for help got them all egotistically hurt and they figured out what their priority was. Their own selves. I gotta read the rest. We gotta read the rest. Uh, go do disability research. I am done spending my spoons on you not understanding. You don't want to understand. Take that video down now. No. There's that no got my CPS called. Jubilee, I don't know how you contact reality at this point, but I do want you to understand what's happening. Our entire family is deeply concerned about you. And if you continue down this path, you so although i'm sure that's true that's because okay. tears are tears are all over the place right oh my god you're not in school and like we got to get on this right now right now it's a crisis what's the crisis that happened last weekend you all figured out that i'm in crisis and i don't i'm not asking for your help that's your crisis and instead of you guys processing that together separately from me you blew up the family so you're going to need to sit with that and figure that out. I'll be sitting with my stuff and figuring it out. You could be forced into psych evaluation. You could lose Aurora. She could go into foster care. This is scary, Jubilee. It's really scary. You must contact reality. You must take that video down. I don't need you to explain anything to me. This is getting scary. We're all scared. Again, right? Her meaning. We're all, we're all scared. That's triangulation. Um, and you, there's no, right? Not, not. You have to help your daughter. Not actual, just take the video down. That makes her feel icky. That makes them look bad. Not change it, right? I added it because they all thought I was selling my child. Because I offered to pay her way into activities with other families who might be going if they had space for her. Because she's home on an iPad with screen time and need some activity, right? They're not, you can tell she's so confused and I must contact reality or I'm, or she will step in and get a psych evaluation. She will step in and get CPS involved. She's threatening my child. She's saying, right, if I don't do her will and she followed through on the threat, my whole family did. Now they're not involved in our lives or they won't be. And at some point, if you don't look around your life and say, hey, I don't talk to anyone in my family. I'm not close with anyone. I've fought with Kimberly, with Jody, 
with absolutely every. So you named two names, two names, right? One person fought with, and it was on her, her, 100% on her act, 95% on her. The other one never fought with. And yet I'm fighting with everyone, right? Community, I think you're either going to mention in this one. Also, no, pandemic happened. I don't have. What I have is a chronic illness, so I'm able to maintain relationships. And the relationships I did pour energy in were these useless motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so we won't be doing that anymore. Everyone in my family, I'm alienated from my daughter, it sounds like. I mean, I don't fully understand the situation. I just know that she's not going to school. And... She doesn't fully understand the situation. I suggest maybe getting to know her. No, no, no. That wouldn't be a solution. She just understands the made up world she made up. She's not in school. When did that happen? When did that happen? That never happened. You made up a fantasy in your head and then went to war over it. That's not helpful to anyone, you delusional asshat. That she believes bugs are in food and that she's not eating. Um, in British Columbia, you must have your child in school. They could take her, they could. So, right, since you got CPS involved, um, they know, they had a conversation with her. They know how well looked after she is, how in school she is. And it's not illegal in BC to unschool your kid. You made up facts in your head. I wouldn't want to unschool my kids. I don't have the energy. I'm glad she's in the program she's in. They're, they don't meet your standard. Your kick an autistic kid out first day standard of your school, right, Tirza? Vaccinate her. They could. This is not good, Jubilee. This is not good. And I'm no longer willing to sit by and let you neglect your daughter. This is not okay. I understand the way that the law works. And so you need to understand that you're either going to voluntarily engage in conversation or this is going to happen by force. We're by voluntary engage in conversation, she means wholeheartedly do exactly what she says when she says it. Take down the video. Not a conversation about the video. Take video down. Video unacceptable. The video is how I'm going to get help from family, actual family, not, not these asshats. We're going to have to call the RCMP and CPS, and we're going to have to have you either evaluated or we're going to have to bring the government in, and they're going to make sure that she goes to school, that someone has enough spoons to invest in their daughter instead of psycho, whatever babble that's happening on the internet, that you take those same spoons that you invest in Ali and all of this crazy bullshit. Wouldn't this have been a great time to have done any disability research, any at all, and realize what spoons are? And your sister doesn't get to allocate them, right? Disabled people are allowed to have interests and hobbies. And my kid doesn't want me around 24 seven, right? I make videos, I nap, I rest. Most of them are effortless and easy, which you're about to find out how effortless and easy all my videos are. Tirza, this is some narcissistic, egotistical asshattery that everyone's now gonna hear, right? Now you have your narcissistic sweet voice on, right? Your I care about you voice. Well, you're destroying our family and not listening, right? My kid's in school. She's just gonna spin a narrative, get, get people who know she's in school to believe she's not in school. I also don't tell my sister shit because she's a dangerous person. So she's gonna, we'll, we'll get to the language when we get to it. Shit online and you invest it in your daughter. Imagine how she feels sitting there every single day watching her mom. <laughs> you silly, narcissistic, horrific human. I don't need to imagine. We talk. She tells me how she feels when she, when she, when she can process it and wants to, right? My kid's actually very emotionally intelligent. More emotionally intelligent than anyone else in this family. Anyone else, you especially included. 
babble away for hours online when she's sitting there. I mean, God knows what. I don't know where your child is. Do you know where your child is? Do you know who she Yes, I do know where she is and who she's talking to. Yup, you don't because you don't know her. You don't know me. None of you know her. None of you know me. She's talking to online. All right, now for the words. What in the video is scary, right? Like point out the scariness for my child, for the world. Where's the scary? My child is in school. You just described actual torture for my daughter. So yes, if my family stepped in and put my daughter through the torture of being involved with the state, not listening to their fucking sister and daughter that any stress is what I can't handle and all you all guys are doing is trying to put me under stress when I need it the least, the absolute least. And every time I've asked that of you, you've been a fucking horrible human being. You are a horrible sister, a horrible aunt. You're an amazing mother. Um, I'm 100% taking that back. She's in no way an amazing mother. Anyone who wants to steal someone else's kid, anyone who's raising their kid to be in an hour of quiet time while she has sibling chat when they're four, absolutely not. I take that back. You're projecting being a good mom. You look like a good mom. You're not one. But you are a horrible aunt and a horrible sister. So you can choose to be in our life. Give us another couple months. Or not. You decide. You make your decisions, you're going to have to live with the consequences. You already don't have a niece and sister in your life. You all want to lose me completely? Keep going. I just watched, but no doubt I would pass a psych evaluation. Um, I'm sane. I see reality. You all don't. It's actually very weird. Show me, re besides the daughter stuff, which I'm absolutely acknowledging, is in crisis point. That's why I'm ignoring all of you and finding actual family who will listen, who will hear and see me. But you guys get me a psych evaluation, you get CPS involved. I mean, it's your choice. Um, let's see how many spoons I have to uh, take off with my daughter and never see you again. And we got uh, after the CPS and psych eval that I would 100% pass because I'm not delusional and my kid isn't being neglected and harmed. Jubilee, I would like to distinguish between your sick, additional, online, non-existent family. Why is it sick? Why is it non-existent? You don't know anything, Tirza. Uh, and your real flesh and blood here. My flesh and blood who's uh, out to destroy, <laughs> out to destroy me and mine. So I hear what you're saying. You feel I'm a terrible sister and a terrible aunt. I haven't been involved in Aurora's life because you haven't allowed me to. I haven't. Uh, this is where she's going to lie and say she's asked hundreds of times. Again, like separated by a door. You could have talked to her at any point in time. I said, in fact, encouraged that when we weren't talking from 2019 onward. Have said you could have one-on-one -on -one video chats. Encouraged you that's what went the fuck off here, right? Yeah, no, you absolutely have not. You've done things like say you're going to decorate her room and then ask me to do all the labor and then not follow through, right? That's who you are. Promising shit and then not delivering. You've been trying to be in my... No! You have not. You bought her things when she was under four. Took her, took us to some, to Disneyland and Legoland, right? That's the last time you knew her. When your foster daughter was there that you were also horrible to. I've been involved in your life because you are incredible. You are a bully. You're mean. You're a narcissist. You're obsessed with yourself. I'm autistic, right? Where have I been a bully to you? Right? Now I tone. I might make you feel some things, right? Me saying you're a bad mom. That's not nice. Uh, my opinion has changed, right? Not a bully. And I don't care if you feel like I am one. You tried to take my kid, you horrible wench. 
That's not what people do. And everything is about you. Everything that's come out of your life for 10 years is about you. What you need that people don't understand you, your spoons, what's available, blah, 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 blah. You are obsessed with yourself and your daughter is paying the price. I already have healthy boundaries. This is what I've needed in my life. And for me to be a healthy person that I am and a healthy mother, I am very tormented about Aurora and I need you to understand healthy boundaries. She lives in a community that she's leaving, right? Because of her healthy boundaries, the community that her whole, her son's whole life is wrapped up in. But you need to leave because of all those healthy boundaries, both interpersonal and financial, right? <laughs> she She's healthy from all those boundaries, right? Except I set the boundaries, right? And you didn't follow through on any of the ones that would have kept you in contact with your niece, gotten to know her. But, right, uh, my nervous system couldn't handle this this idiot. So uh, I couldn't have conversations. And then slowly we got video, or sorry, sibling chat because I could handle her if my brother was there too. Oh, uh, your, your, your reality, your version of events is very different, right? So I'm, I've been so obsessed for 10 years since I became chronically ill and a, and a parent. What was our childhood like or adolescence? Was I self-obsessed then? You're describing chronic illness. You want people to understand your spoons, my chronic illness, my lack of capacity. Yeah. And so from now on, I'll only be surrounding myself with people who understand that. Because clearly it's not my family, right? Instead of stepping in and helping a disabled mother who doesn't have enough energy, they used up my energy to have me go for a psych evaluation at the, at the hospital that all of my C C medical CPSD, CPTSD is around. After having been up at three in the morning and been up for hours and hours and find my way there, right? We'll see why. Because she's like, e that or RCMP. Well, found my way there. Got the psych eval. State's involved. Now you all aren't. And I don't make threats. I don't make veiled threats. This is going to happen, Jubilee. Either you're going in for a voluntary psychiatric assessment or someone is going to come to the house and force you to do that. That's happening. Aurora is going to be assessed by CPS. So notice here, right? She didn't say if the psych eval says she will be assessed. She says she will be assessed. She made sure of it. She went on a smear campaign and made sure of it. She's the reason. I know. So here's the situation. You can do this voluntarily or it can happen through the state. We both know Aurora is not registered. She is not in school. I've made phone calls, okay? This is serious, Jubilee. You haven't paid your taxes either. Again, right? Her two things, my kid's not in school and I haven't paid my taxes not paying your taxes, right? Again, I'm not I'm not in some protest. Not to mention this whole thing started on September 26th because she sent a two and a half hour video on how taxes are illegal and we're all slaves because we're traded without our knowledge, which is of course not being a slave because if we're traded without our knowledge, that's not being a slave. You Anyway, um and now it's like I'm so irresponsible. I could end up in jail. Yeah, you all threatened to call the cops. You guys, this is this is some colonized white family nonsense. Because I want help from the outside. Like, what in the? You can go to jail. You haven't filed your taxes. And we know all the other things. This is serious, Jubilee. I need you to hear me all the other things all the other things i don't have all the other things i am transparent about my past there's nothing you can bring to light i'm transparent you're not you're not with the little bit of you that is left there okay i am doing this out of love because i cannot sit by and see what's happening happen. 
And I know you think you're so entitled and you have all this, you know, social justice warrior stuff happening, but there is a world, a reality where I know you're looking. You're doing this because I suggested you have one-on-one -on -one video chat and then you like didn't want to do that. So you made a reason not to do that and you got narcissistically injured because you don't know her and you didn't step up, any of you step up in any fucking way over the last 10 years to know her, to fill up the gap that I was clearly creating as I lost capacity, used, skip the dishes more and more, lost contact with more and more friends and family lost ability as of communicating that I'm losing ability. Honestly, fuck all of you. Fuck you. For these fictitious people that don't exist online, that someone's going to give you a house and take you in. But there's also a world of the government and CPS that sees that fucking video and they see, oh, here's someone who's mentally unstable. Literally nobody but my family saw that video that way, right? No one saw that video and was like, she's trying to sell her kid. She's trying to pawn her kid off on anyone. They might have rolled their eyes and been like, mm -hmm. ignore. They didn't definitely didn't call CPS and get a psych evaluation. Instead of help in any way, including just shutting the fuck up like asked, right? Step aside and deal with your own feelings. Don't blow up the family. No, no, not that. By all societal standards, Jubilee, it doesn't matter what you think. You live in a real concrete world. If you go jump off a bridge, you're going to die, okay? So what's happening right now is you are jumping off a bridge. And I don't mean that as a veiled threat, obviously, of anything of your safety, but you are posting videos online that can be interpreted as you are offering people money to take your daughter. I have left my kid alone with family or friends only and a handful of times to do really important things to me. Not to say that that's the metric of a good parent. People are allowed to do self-care, allowed to go out and do things. But my sister, at any moment, she wants anything for herself. Get, you know, get somebody to watch her kid for a week. Usually my parents for free, right? You have so much help, so much support, and you're trying to take it away, the little help and support I have. You're horrible, horrible. This isn't love, Tirsa. This is a narcissistic control move because I wouldn't take down a video and suggested you have a video chat. Now, I would hope that you would have some discernment on who that is, but someone posting videos about finding their real family and all of this, your mental health is in question, Jubilee, by our entire family. Oh, I have no doubt my mental health is in question by our entire family because Tears is a smear campaigner, right? A little drama queen who goes, oh my God, everyone has brain tumors. Oh my God, we're all going to die, right? We know this about her. So she did that this weekend. It's about me and my kid. She's not in school and this is a crisis. And oh my God, she has to file their taxes. She's going to go to jail. What changed, right? What needed to happen right the fuck then? You, you happened, Tirza. As you always do, you tears it all over it. Destroyed our family. So you can humor us and go get a psych evaluation or we can get the government involved. You have 24 hours. She already told on herself. She means go get a psych evaluation and the government is involved. Both at the same time. She made sure of it. She made it sound right. Just like Alison Priestley does with her little smear campaigns, making it herself. I'm so scared and all these people are out to get me. She's so scared, so concerned, so loving. Which is why you did like, Again, the whole thing is take down the video that hurts you a tiny bit. We'll show the, the, the post. The green lightning is the most scary thing and I changed the thumbnail because I respect the people who suggested that. No more, no less to make that decision. Aurora is in school. She's had the same teacher since the beginning of the pandemic when she room for eight months without learning anything. 
My kid is in school with adults who care about her and know her and actually care about her. So yeah, CPS will do fuck all actually, except destroy our family. You do what you feel called. I could go to a walk-in clinic for a psych evaluation if you really want, but like, what do you think that's going to do? You can't just walk in and get a psych, like, <laughs> go to the emergency room and be like, my family thinks I'm psychotic. Well, why? Because I keep talking about the 2004 movies. Um, what is psychotic? What's the actual delusion? You're in delusion. I'm not the narcissist. I am deeply not egoic and not selfish. I've had to look after my body and put all of my energy into my kid because my family hasn't been helping. We're about to hear the most narcissistic tone. Oh, now she's good. When did she get unrolled from school? And then all the we language. So you're now saying that Aurora is in school. That's wonderful. What do you mean I'm now saying? The entire time you heard some made up weird bullshit. I'm so happy to hear that. Obviously, then the government doesn't. Obviously, then now the government doesn't need to be involved. Except you already got, right? No, you're insistent they're involved. Your smear campaign, right? Like now, now they she's involved. not. They just need to assess the situation unless you're going to voluntarily have it assessed. So, Which is always what would be happening, right? The government isn't going to take my narcissistic sister's version of events and version of me raising my kid, right? They have their own metrics. Now that you've involved them, you're not involved at all. You told me you took her out of school. No, no, I didn't. You made that up in your head. I, in fact, told you that she's in school and you can't have her come stay with you during the school year. Schooling her, but if she's in school then you haven't let us know that. I haven't let us know that. What us? I'm an adult. Mom and dad definitely knew that. And so did you. And I don't need to keep you informed. Like, this is just a narcissistic nightmare. And so, you know, that's important information. I'm not against you. That's important information. Yes, you are against me. This entire thing proves it. You're against me and my kid. I'm not... You're only for you, Tirza. I win this one. Like, I, I don't know what you think. My Your heart's breaking, right? She's about to cry. She's about to cry because uh, she couldn't have one-on-one -on -one video chats. My heart is broken. I woke right? up crying this morning. My heart is broken for you and for Aurora. And I don't know how to help you. Listen for one fucking second, right? Hear what I'm saying. Don't be a narcissistic asshat. Don't be the worst mother, sister human being on the planet. Could you do that for five seconds? Could you be more worried about my physical body than your momentary emotions? Could you concern yourself more with the next generation and the planet they're going to grow up on than your narcissistic injury? So if she's in school, if she's being cared for, and if you're okay, then that's great. That's great. No, no, it's not, right? You don't actually want that, you narcissist. Or you might have helped at any point along the way in the last 10 years when you had the finances, ability to help. You might not have fucked us over when asked not to, right? Maybe? Maybe not broken both our parents' hearts? Have them lose their daughter and granddaughter? For your own selfish needs, your own meaning making, your own lies that you spun in your head and then sold everyone. Yeah, that, that was a fun Thanksgiving weekend. Hope you remember that for the years to come. And if we never talk again because I had to ask, then that's what happened. You love her spin because I had to ask. Not Psych evaluation, CPS, demand, 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 not like that whole thing we just watched go down because she gave me a vision and I suggested the cockroaches were maybe speaking to her, right? That's what went down. Nothing came to light about my kid that needed this to happen. Her narcissistic injury, my family's narcissistic injury, that they're not who I'm going to get help from. Clearly. 
but I need to know that she's okay and I need to know that you're okay. And any inquiry I do into that is making me more scared, more sad. So all I need is for you to just be assessed. Please understand that there's only love here. You don't listen. The family doesn't listen, but you especially don't listen. Stress is poison. You're adding more stress to my life. This basically ends our sisterhood, um, that you need me to get evaluated, that you need that, as opposed to, you pointed out, you're hearing my kids unschooled. I never said my kids unschooled. You hear what you want to hear, Tirza. You're the narcissist. You can't handle me being a better human being than you. You can't add my better parent. No, my kid is paying the biggest price for having a disabled parent who knows how to save the world. I'm in crisis mode and I'm figuring it the fuck out with, well, you all are adding to the crisis. This is fun. This is a fun new development. Um, it's, I mean, the universe gives us our lessons as we're meant to have them. I'm meant to have this lesson now. I'm in the flow with whatever's meant to happen. I guess your guys' hearts are all meant to break. Mine broke long ago. Mine broke long ago. So it's fascinating to me. So notice how, right? Narcissistic voice, narcissistic voice. Now she's going to, she's going to, oh, you're not, how many, how many minutes is this after she poured? Oh, she was so heartbroken. Woke up heartbroken about me and my daughter. Okay. It is, it is two hours later. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's not just moments later. Um, But right. She's going to say she's on Allie's side. And she's doing it all with background noise. I'm single-sided deaf. One of the accommodations I have requested that she absolutely will never do is not having background noise. You couldn't not run the water while telling me I'm Allie Priestley? Of course not. Of course not. Because she doesn't listen to a single thing. Nothing I ask for. Everything over-the-top ridiculous narcissistic to not have background noise while you're recording a voice memo. For your sister who can't cancel out background noise and cost more energy to listen to it. Me that everything you say about another person is really about you, right? So Allie is self-diagnosed, whatever, autism. You're self-diagnosed autism. She's posting photos of your, your mom and you're saying that while you've posted a photo next to her mom. Right, which I did as literally she did it. I used word for word with better photos of her parents. Made that very clear. Because she did that with each and every one of our parents, like of her victims. I did do that and they're still up. You, you don't get the lesson, do you? You don't get the channel. You just became the Jerry Springer guest, right? You became Ali Priestley. You misunderstood the whole concept and you just became Ali Priestley. Except I don't know her. We're only in a parasocial relationship. I know you. I know you. I am a narcissist when you're the one who for 10 years, all you're focused on, like everyone in the universe should go to a universe of Jubilee, like university. Everyone needs to be educated in Jubilee. Everyone needs to speak Jubilee. But you don't give a fuck about the stress you're putting your mother and your father under right now, your daughter. Forget about me. I'm not sleeping. But I'm trying to understand that. Love that, eh? Forget about me. I'm not sleeping. Definitely center me while I'm saying forget about me. Um, I am concerned about my daughter and only my daughter. You all pretended to be really concerned about her education and health until it was the next thing, right? That for the best thing for her education, the best thing for her health is for him to leave ASAP. Now all of a sudden it's, but your elderly father. Right. I'm not pausing, saving the world. I'm not doing what you want me to do. Not happening. I'm doing what I'm meant to do and I'm listening to the creator. And you all had a narcissistic meltdown over it. that I'm not dealing with my sister, I'm dealing with a mental illness. I'm trying to have that. And if that were true, right, if you were dealing with a mental illness, if you were dealing with somebody in psychosis or delusion, you might wanted to have Googled that and then treated me like that. Because this isn't it, right? This is a narcissist, narcissisting out. The fake tears that trying to draw you into her nervous system and she's just trying to help. 
this is no help, right? You're not listening to the person, me, who's asking for help, not from you. That level of understanding and compassion, you're willing to do whatever it takes if it means not having a relationship. But here's what I want you to just look at. You are saying, I'm never going to speak to you again. This relationship is over, right? Yet when I say to you, you know, we're on our own paths. I love you. You're like, love her interpretation, right? I, I just said we're on our own paths and I love you. No, you didn't. That was a passive aggressive. Fine, then I guess we're on our own journeys and I'll just faint on this couch. Constantly, right? You're constantly do that. You constantly like promise divorce. I don't. But I did. And I mean it. We're done. Like you're divorcing me. No, you're divorcing me. And I want to make that clear. You're divorcing me. I'm loving you the best way I know how. And if you can't help you, I have to find a way to help you. So I am enrolling our family. And catch that call. If you can't help you, I have to help you. This isn't help. This is help for no one but Tirza. Tirza's ego. Tirza's ego. You've centered Luciferic Tirza's ego. Tears is a Luciferic nightmare, right? Pretending she's some kind of like enlightened sage because she's warm. So much warmth, right? Try to steal people's children. Try to remove people. You're disgusting. Hope. These people are going to see it now. Our family is involved. You are, you are so self-obsessed that we have an actual disabled father, an actual disability, one that everyone can see. And you are so focused on you. You are such a narcissist. You can't even find the golden thread back to reality enough to hold. What, what right? If I'm delusional, I need a psych evaluation. How would I find a, a golden thread back to reality? That wouldn't be possible. It's not a choice. But that's not what's happening. I've been saying I'm not to save the world logically with a tech cooperative and no one would listen to me. And that did have, you know. There's been an effect. <laughs> disconnection and disconnection affects humans mentally, physically. Now I need to reconnect with people, real people who care about me, who care about us, right? Not these people who clearly don't. Again, now it's all centered on the elderly parents, not the child whose education we're all concerned about that none of you did F all for, but add more stress and hurt me. Yeah, no, I'm concerned about one member of my family because I only have one member of my family. The rest get no more energy from me ever again. Hold it together. You're mean, you're vicious, you're a bully. You're so angry. The reason Daniela looked at that at video is because I said, can you just give me some reference? Like, I don't know what I'm dealing with. And she's like, And so this is, I guess we will have this part in here, right? I already accidentally said her name anyway. Um, I don't think these exact words came out of Daniela's mouth because I don't think Daniela is the type of person who would say this, but this is a triangulator and she's going to reiterate. Now, do I think the sentiment? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Especially if Daniela was watching it, having been preempted by my sister's meaning. But like those words didn't come out, right? I don't think so. This is triangulation, tears, narcissistic triangulation. It's like, your sister's fucking crazy. Like, You've seen this, her unravel, and she's angry. She's entitled, right? You think, oh, I don't have to pay taxes. I don't put my kids in school. I don't do anything. No, like, how would Daniela know that, right? How would Daniela know my kid's not in school despite the fact she is and that, right? From, from a TikTok video, right? That's weird. That's weird. And the reason, right, is because she asked her to go visit, and then I put in the sibling chat. I was like, oh, my God, Daniela's visiting. Are, followed me and her one video on her account is from grandma's birthday that also was a narcissistic injury for my sister right because i noticed and that there was a sign they don't mean anything no but of course the almost graduation year that's deeply meaningful everyone has to answer to me if i don't get what i want then i'm gonna run away like a little spoiled brat that is what we're dealing with here but it has really like that is why i have not been present in your life and aurora will get old enough that she'll understand why i haven't been there it's because of you you've pushed me away i've asked you a hundred times to connect with her i've asked you a hundred
how would that even be possible, right? When we haven't connected for you to ask a hundred times, every time I've suggested like the one-on-one, -on -one, you find a reason not to. You promise things and don't deliver them. You're a narcissist. You're unreliable. You're a horrible person to be in any relationship with. hundred times. You will not let me have a relationship with your daughter. You need to understand that. And at one point, you're going to tell Aurora, as you have been her whole life, the story. And I'll tell her my side of it. And she can decide with all the information that she has about you and what it's like to be your her daughter and me. And maybe it will take when she's 18 and she can choose of her own free will. But the fact that you would even consider letting her go into... Uh, listen to her, right? She's Because she said all those things. I never said anything about... I know my kid's not going into foster care. I know my kid ha is not being neglected. I know I'm going to pass CPS. I mean, there's always a chance you get a horrible one, which is why you don't involve them in family. But nonetheless, right, you're completely misinterpreting. And me. And maybe it will take when she's 18 and she can choose of her own free will. But the fact that you would even consider letting her go. I said she can't come and stay with you during the school year. But if you get to know her, she might be able to for the summer. And you took it as that. No, she can't. Just get to know her. You can't get to know people. And you're projecting that onto me. You want, like, you don't know your niece at all. Not even a little bit. And you think she should just come stay with a stranger? That would be abuse. That would be weird. Like, just put her on a plane to someone. She doesn't know. going to foster care instead of be with your own sister that you self-admitted. I'm an amazing mother. You can never take that away from me. Okay. I already did. I already did. Right. You look like an amazing mother. You're projecting looking like a good mom while being a horrific human, which does not make you a good mom, makes you a bad mom. And you're trying to steal people's children, mine and all disabled mothers and whatever future right? You, you want a daughter. So whatever means you get to get to your entitlement. Roe v. Wade overturned. You're joyful over that because it means you get what you want in the future. A child. So however you feel about me as a sister, you really have to put that aside. What I hope, what everyone in our family fucking hopes is that you can pull your shit together and take down photos. They're hoping, right? She's about to that that I listen. I d I do exactly what she says. Take down the video asking for actual help and just don't be disabled. Just don't need help, Jubilee, <sighs> or the help that we've eked out to you should be enough, right? The bare minimum of not knowing you or your child should be enough. Just don't be disabled, Jubilee. Problem solved take down videos where you're asking for your real fictitious dreamland family to come and rescue you and take your daughter out on excursions for, and you're going to pay them for it. I mean, Jubilee, please connect with reality. I don't, I, I, I just, I, I have to stop talking because I feel like, am I making it worse? If you truly have a mental illness. Yes. If I truly had a mental illness, all of what you did makes it worse. You're a horrible sister, whether I have a mental illness or not. But if I had one, yes, this is absolutely horrific. Am I making it worse? Am I trying to take your child and, and telling you that you're gaslighting you, that your reality isn't your reality? Is that making it worse? Yeah, that would, right? Do you not have Google? Can you not Google how to treat someone with mental illness? The opposite of this, Tirza. Am I not supporting you in some way? Um, I, I don't know what to do at this point. I truly do. But I want you to know that I love you and I'm never going to stop loving you. And you can push me away and you can push our whole family away. But we love you, Jubilee. We love you and we know you as much as anyone can know anyone. And uh, thank God that's not true. <laughs> thank God they don't know me and know everyone can be known in a way that my family does not know me. In fact, they're making me wrong for just wanting to be known.
and them not knowing me. It's a human need, right? To be seen, to be known. And I've never had that. I've never had that safety, that peace. My sister gave me the gift of finding that out through all of this. I've never had that. Now I can create it. Fictitious people online, they are fictitious. They don't exist. Nobody is ever going to show up and give you a family. Nobody. I also want to be abundantly clear that I want a daughter. Also notice again, what I have and have not said, right? She is like, well, what you would let your daughter, daughter go into foster care and instead of come stay with me. That's not the choice. And uh, you're being weird. You're saying, right? You're in your mind taking my kid and putting her in foster care. You have that as the likely outcome and you're still doing it. You think that would be a better option than staying with me. Now I know that, which is not a good option for anyone, would be a better option than you all. I do not want to take your daughter. I have no intention to take your daughter. The best thing that can come of this is you get a clean bill of health. Everyone says Jubilee is fine. You guys are overreacting. She's Right. Again, make-believe, right? Jubilee, she gets a clean bill of health that she's not disabled and you guys are over. That's not possible because I'm disabled, right? Not a clean bill of health, but a yes, I am looking after my child and using every available resource and clearly centering her. She is my priority. She just has never been yours or anyone else's in this family. More than abundantly you know, able to care for this child. This child is being cared for. She is enrolled in school. Everything is fine. We all pray for that, Jubilee. I hope you understand that. Nobody wants to take your child. I I am. I think we just heard the exact opposite, right? That she absolutely does. Expects that to be the outcome. And I'm the irresponsible one for not sending my child who doesn't know her to go stay with her for a few weeks. During the school year. Makes no sense. So I make it make sense. A foster parent, okay? I understand the best place for a child, hands down, is with their mother. The best place for Aurora is with you. But you got to get it together. You got to understand, even though you believe all of this to be true, from the outside, Jubilee, you tell lies. You tell lies. No, no, I don't. You reconstruct reality to be a lie. That's not the same thing at all. We're just going to keep it off for this part. When you started, when, when Aurora was in your womb, you said, I am going to lie and say I'm disabled so I can get this money. You did that. We all. That'd be the weirdest thing to come out of anyone's mouth, right? But by your own admission in part one, in your vision, right? I was harmed by deprivarian radiation, both of which happened before I ever became pregnant. So how do you spin that lie in your reality? I did say while I was pregnant, I didn't want to go back to work. I wanted to find a way not to go back to work, which is why I tried to start a business. I <laughs> And then did try to go back to work because that didn't work and they couldn't accommodate me. You keep future faking my health, right? That I'm healthier. Like, I'm ignoring the radiation damage. What would paying attention to it look like? You don't make sense. And what's the next line? All saw it. We all heard it. That is what happened. Which is absolutely, because I also, you brought this up in 2019 and you keep bringing this up. So I have asked the rest of the family, right? Did I, did you guys, did I say that? No, no, I did not. You heard what you wanted to hear, what makes you a good sister, right? Because then you're allowed to not step in and help me or your niece for the 10 years that you had money. Or whatever, seven years you had money. You created lies and then you believe them. You start saying, oh, I'm going to... Right? I'm like, I'm in pain and tired. And she's like, well, if you say that, it's going to keep being true, which might have reality to it. But un not saying it doesn't undo it either.
She doesn't apply any of her bullshit ableism to her infertility, right? Why don't you go and positively think yourself into a baby? Whatever you want to apply to my brain damage, apply to your fertility. Being disabled, not being able to do something doesn't make you a less worthy human being. Not being able to have a baby doesn't make you a less worthy human being. Trying to steal other people's children does. Not dealing with your infertility issues and projecting that onto the world and making adoption the solution is. Makes you a horrible human. Horrible mother. Horrible aunt and sister. Uh -huh, create a call, be a messiah, haha. -ha. And then it becomes your reality. You start to believe your own lies. No, that's just the irony of the creator. And I know that's happening, right? The anti-MLM, Omniwin MLM came out. I'm not creating a cult. I'm creating a non-cult. Hence the anti-influencer piece. The looks crazy, but isn't crazy. Because of the aphasia, not a ch like language issues that you somehow think is narcissistic. I want people to understand me. To be understood. I didn't make up a language. For fucks and giggles, right? In order to be understood, someone needs to understand, which is they need to understand the language. Doesn't mean any singular person has to. You're more than released from that. Is Jubilee. This is not okay. Like the weird part is I can feel like the video Ali made. I, it's like, I'm saying the same, like Jubilee. The video Ali made that spins her narrative, right? She has two on her YouTube channel, one of which is 20 minutes, and one of which is two hours, be zoomed in, like this close. Uh, you can see on the TikTok, like, yeah, no, it's designed to make me look crazy. And you believe, uh, my channel's designed to make me look crazy. She's made that video that way, and you believe it, despite knowing me, right? Sure. Come on, this is crazy you're not getting the memo. I don't understand what to do. You're not understanding. You have got to step up. You have got to become a mother. And if you're truly so disabled, Jubilee, that you can't coordinate a FaceTime call between me and your daughter, that's how little you fucking care about her, then I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But your disabled father who's... Yeah, right. There's invisible and visible disabilities that she does not understand, right? Don't understand my cognitive things I can do and things I can't do. And no matter how many times I explain it, you all don't want to hear it. So I said you can have one-on-one. -on -one. Encourage you to have one-on-one -on -one video chat if you can coordinate it. If it's a big deal, then don't do it. But if it's a big deal, that's why my brain can't do it, right? But if it's not a big deal, then what the fuck is the problem? If everyone else can do it and it's no big deal. It's not a simple care task. Or I would do it. Although it's really not simple because of the complexity of family, right? But connect to anyone else wouldn't be simple. And connect to you all is a, well, a family dynamic nightmare, clearly. It's truly disabled, by the way. Actually disabled. Okay, he can, he, you can say all day long, I'm hit by cars, I'm da da da, you're not. And how does his disability, which we all, like, how would that stop him from connecting technology? It wouldn't, right? It wouldn't stop, like, right, mine does. And that part of it is declining and what's been declining, the forwarding two emails that nearly did me in. It's consistent. It's not a lie. You just see it as a lie because you refuse to understand the disability. And I'm going to surround myself with people who do want to understand me and see me. That has never been my family. Clearly. Not. You're walking around. You have so many spoons. You can make endless videos and go on these tirades and be angry at everyone. It takes energy to be angry. It takes all. Here's the thing. It really doesn't. It takes no energy not to be angry in the moment. To hold it back, to not release it, right? Just like in your little bitchy tone there, uh, is more energy. I know what takes energy and doesn't take energy because of my spoony disability. Everything takes energy. Every piece of a relationship, every piece of every day takes energy. So I've had to find where mine is best used 
not connecting my sister on video chat, right? That would not be the best place of my energy, clearly. All your energy to be angry at the world, to be angry at me, to be angry at your family, to be angry at everything. If you took 1% of that energy, just put it into raising your child. Being oh no, I'm taking 100% of that energy, right? All the energy that was created by the anger that I burned through. I'm no longer angry at you guys. I mean, I'm going to have to process losing my family. But um, yeah, I process and burn through it and express all the emotion. All the emotion. Emotions aren't bad. Anger's not bad. Sadness isn't bad. This is. This narcissistic nightmare is evil and bad, in my opinion. Being there for her, that would make all the difference in the world. And being a Spoonie, figuring out Pareto distribution, the 20% that gives you the 80% in every area, the first place I put any of my energy is into my kid into her emotional well-being, into having those conversations. You don't, right? You have an abundance of energy and money. So you don't have to figure out where and how to spend it and what's important. And you get narcissistic asshat, ableism, when you, when you get that way. She's earned her, her ableism. She's earned her health, earned her body. Can't wait till the creator gives you that lesson. <laughs> I won't be around for it. if you don't. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get it with age, right? And I'm fine. I have obviously come to terms with the fact that we may never speak again. And I wouldn't say I'm okay with that, but I understand the consequences. I understand that. And that's how much. You no, right? She's spending it to herself and everyone else. So she just loves us so deeply. She needed to do this on Thanksgiving weekend. It was an emergency, super, super important because she wasn't in school and I wasn't doing taxes, except she was in school and you sent a video that said taxes are illegal. So your own lies don't make sense, right? The last thing she's ever going to say to me is kid. That's why the last thing I said on the last video was kid. You and Aurora mean to me. I'm not going to sit by and just let you post videos that can be construed as you trying to pawn your daughter off for money and you looking for some fictitious family and calling yourself the Messiah and stalking crazy people and having a Jerry Springer life online where your daughter sits there. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing online. Right, right. You don't know what she's doing. You know nothing about her. You know this channel and you think it's Jerry Springer because I, I was looking at Ali, who's been a horrific bully for all of 2023. You've been a horrific bully for 40 years on me, right? Not the same as Ali. I wouldn't have been able to see you if I hadn't seen Ali. But now I can see you. So we got a lot to deconstruct. Uh, you tried to cancel the Jerry Springer show. You just became the focus. Silly goober. I don't know how she's being cared for. That's the thing. I can't trust your discernment. Yeah, that's fine. We're trying to find a place for dad. Here's what you need to understand. If CPS does not deem you fit and they. If CPS does not. Why? why? Right. There's nothing that makes it unfit. That makes me unfit. Nothing came to light besides my my health is in decline. And my kid, right, eats more from restaurants, has more time on screen time. And when I try to rectify that by asking other people to take her out, you're at like, just don't be disabled. You do it. I can't, which is why I'm asking for help. And you went on a narcissistic nightmare rant, right? Well, pretending it's out of love and care. And anyone who sees these, which is why they're seeing them, which is why I have to show them. Because if I explain this, you couldn't see it. But I think now, will some people be on your, absolutely, especially people who already know you, like our family, they will absolutely be on your side. They won't see the narcissism in this. That's what Ali has taught me. Wow, when you already have a meeting that you're already going to cling to it. But other people will see, other people. And I'm not looking for 100%, right? I'm looking for the 1% that get me, who want to get me, who want to work on this thing that's coming through me that's going to save all of humanity. Not looking for the tears of the world.
the non tearses the actual water carriers, right? Not those that are telling everyone else how to carry their water and never carried a drop on their own ever, ever. They come and take Aurora from you. They can leave her with dad, but they can't leave her alone and they will put her in foster care. So you better be damn sure that you know what you're doing right now, kid. I mean, finding out my family would rather my kid in foster care than have a video chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was that was an interesting understanding. Um, I don't have a family. I have the one I created, my child, me and my child, and we will be creating an intergenerational one in Vancouver. I've already been shown that it's possible. I see other people in them and I've had the equivalent online, just not in person. And that's where I need it to be. I need to walk out and be in community, not needing to connect people on technology. It's what I need. It's what the creator meant for me to have. And I didn't create it because I thought I had something close, right? I thought all I had to do was climb up on the cross. Once I asked for help, that was the hard part. It was my ego. I didn't realize the ego wound it would give my family to realize that I've needed help, that I've been asking for and they haven't been giving me. And instead of stepping up and doing it or letting other people, their solution was just don't be disabled. So uh, we're going to be deconstructing adoption and foster care and creating villages for all children, starting with mine, because my child does need a village and all children are deserving of villages. And we're not deserving of other people's children to raise just because we think we'd be a good mommy. That does not entitle us to a child. Sorry, it's taken you 45 plus years to process that, Tirza. You're not having mine. And um, I'm going to do what I can to uh, stop the adoption industry in general. It's a for-profit, not designed for kids. It's designed for narcissistic mothers who want to project motherhood, project that they're a good mother, not be a good parent, not care about the individual. If it's not pristine, if that baby's not pristine, I'm not paying the big bucks. The comment she left on my video that said about Thanksgiving where she goes off about the foster kid doubling down that she's a white savior and she did everything right. Proving my point. <sighs> anyway, this channel is uh, less about Allie or about Tirza, but Allie will still be in the mix because Allie doesn't stop either. Allie's still Allie. She's in fact co-opted someone else's death by suicide again, saying it's just like hers and we almost pushed her there. People could ask questions, right? Will I answer them? Who knows? But um, if you make assumptions, you're probably going to hurt yourself and get wrong. Get it wrong. Because you're not me. And there's complexity into everything I do. And I'm living in the moment and flow and my emotions. There's a lot going on in this channel. It's my living room. Expectations. Thinking it's going to look a certain way. <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to get people hurt. But uh, this Jerry Springer seems pretty apt. So if you're looking for something other than that, uh, maybe, maybe don't become the focus.